Hello, look what's just arrived. <laughs> These leeks. A gardening uh, mate of mine has just dropped them off. He's been planting leeks in his allotment and these are some spares he had. Um, so we need to do something with these, don't we? We've got to plant these somewhere. One way or another we need to find some space for them. Um, so, luckily, um, that has coincided with two events. One event is that I've been harvesting uh, early potatoes. I've been harvesting Charlotte from these seaweed and leaves. Okay, so we've got some compost. It's already grown potatoes this year. We've got pots that have had potatoes in this year. We've got those leeks. Let's plant some leeks in this pot. Uh, and what we've got left, uh, I've been down the raised bed uh, earlier this week, and I've noticed that the... Um, parsnips haven't um, come on very well. I normally sow those indoors, I normally do it on tissue and then transplant them outdoors but I didn't this year. Um, I just put the seeds in the ground and to be honest they've not made it, they're not going to make it. So I'm going to take those out and the rest of these leeks I'm going to put a row in a raised bed. But for the, for the purpose of this video we're going to plant some in this pot. Okay, now if you've seen my previous videos you'll know that it is possible to grow 10 leeks in a pot because there's a video on my channel that shows you me doing that. 10 leeks in a 10 inch pot, unbelievable. And they were leeks that were spare and needed a home. And um, I thought, well, I probably won't do much in a 10 inch pot, not 10 leeks, but I'm going to bang them in anyway, which is what I did. And um, they've done really well. So I was dead pleased, uh, but we're not planting 10 today, uh, certainly not in this pot. We'll try and get 10 in that uh, raised bed. We're going to plant four leeks in here. Okay, so we'll take them out of this bag. There's nothing there for you, Molly. And we'll try and tease four leeks out of this, uh, this root ball without actually um, doing too much damage to the leek. Okay, I'll hold it there and I'll just give it a bump on the side of the pot. Roots everywhere. How good's that? Four leaks. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I know a lot of gardeners like to trim the trim the roots, trim the leaves, makes it easier for planting. But I'm only putting four in in this pot. Uh, so I'll take my time and try and get all the roots in and leave the, uh, leave the leaves as they are, leave the flags as they are. But when I go down the raised bed, I'll possibly trim the roots on the other leaks and trim the tops uh, and make it easier uh, to plant those. But we'll, We'll do our best uh, to get these guys in here. Now then, I don't know if you noticed, but there is quite a bit of shank on these leeks already. There's three or four inches, but I'm only going to put these guys in about an inch, two inch max, um, because what I'll try and do then is I'll try and um, blanch them up uh, above the level of the pot and get some long shanks. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can make a job of this. We'll go with the guy with the most roots first. Okay, that guy's gone in no more than an inch. I'll square these up uh, later. What I'll do is, um, 
I won't do it on, yeah I will, no I won't. Will I want her? I don't know. What's I going to do? <laughs> now what I'll do is I'll put some sticks in with these guys and support them so they stay upright. They're not upright at the moment, but they've just been transplanted, haven't they? Um, but this is where some rocket sticks will come in handy. I'll just support them like that. Uh, I'll give them, a, I'll water them in. And then at some stage I've got those um, pop bottle windbreaks that will go over them and support them. Uh, but we'll go down the raised bed now and plant these, shall we? Hey, come in with me. Because this only took two ticks, didn't it? Yeah, we'll go down the raised bed, we'll plant these guys. Come on. Come on, Mal, down the raised bed. This is where I sowed my parsnips directly into the raised bed um, and if I point these white pebbles out I think you might be able to see them this is everywhere I put a seed there 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 and so on right across so there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen seeds planted and what do we get out of sixteen seeds one parsnip two parsnips, three parsnips, four parsnips. So we only got four parsnips to germinate our 16 seeds. So I'm going to sacrifice those, they're coming out. Uh, we'll take these stones off uh, and these leaks that I've just been given, we'll pop them in here. Okay, now you see them, now you don't. Those parsnips are uh, history. I put a line on with these pebbles again. Um, uh, the spacing looks to be about four inches to me, probably too close, but we're in a raised bed and we haven't got much room, so that's all we can afford. Um, I'm going to use that, those pebbles as a marker just to dibber some holes. Um, this is my dibber. Um, I've, I've put a mark on it at six inches, so I'm going to dibber all these holes, hopefully about six inches deep. Let's go and get the leaks. Okay, so I've got a bunch of leaks here. I think there's about 10 there. I've got them all uh, nicely held together. And what I'm going to do is trim all these roots in a one -er. Okay, so that's the roots trimmed. Now if these guys are going in there six inches, we want these guys to be at least eight inches long, don't we? So I think we want them to be at least. Oh, oh. Anyway, a little longer wouldn't do any harm, would it? So we'll go here. Wow, that looks savage, doesn't it? Oh, oh. Let's hope I've got my inches there. Got it. Hey, that's something we haven't talked about. The United Kingdom leaving the uh, EU. Does that mean we're back on feet and inches? Six inch old, eight inch leak, homegrown veg. We never went on inches, we were always on inches, weren't we? We were at homegrown veg and we always weigh in pounds. How's that? No kilograms here, none of them. What's them other things? Millimetre, centimetre. Do that. Feet and inches at home grown veg, pounds and ounces. That's what you get. 
In actual fact, I should have probably put a dozen of those in, shouldn't I, rather than ten, if we're going back to the old imperial measurements. need to do now is water these guys in and um, I'll probably actually put some of it over these a piece of net or something because the birds are there. they're visiting this garden a lot lately and um, I can imagine them pulling these out because obviously there's nothing holding them in at the moment is there so after I've, after I've finished shooting this video I'll probably put a net over here it'll probably have the inch squares you know what I mean not centimetre squares, inch squares. <laughs> I think this watering can holds about ooh, half a gallon. What's that in uh, litres? That's it then. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Home Grown Veg, signing out. <laughs>